I'm making a Minecraft server, and to help fix Minecraft's biggest flaw, its combat system, I learned how to code and spent nearly the past 100 days trying to make a mod to fix it. The design principle is simple. Minecraft's combat is rather unengaging and boring, and so is its enchantment system. I can kill two birds with one stone by turning enchantments into abilities. I've removed most of the vanilla enchants from the game, besides Riptide and Silk Touch. And then I made some crucial edits to these systems regarding the enchantments. First off, and most obviously, I've changed how the enchantment table works. Now when you use it, instead of by placing bookshelves around it to increase the chances of good enchantments, now you unlock enchantments by placing enchanted books in chiseled bookshelves around the table. You can then scroll through your hard-earned collection and then decide which enchant you would like to enchant your item with. However, due to this feature, I've also removed the ability to enchant via the anvil. Don't want you messing it up and putting it on through an anvil instead of putting it inside the enchantment table system because that way you can actually use it multiple times. And due to the removal of things like mending and unbreaking, I've also removed the increasing repair costs because that was already a really stupid mechanic. I don't know why Mojang ever included that. And with the base systems out of the way, I talk about the 37 enchants I've added, but I've covered them all in shorts already, so I'll do a swift rundown instead. All armors have five enchantments, with helmets having Blizzard, Unleash, a Blizzard under your opponent, freezing them on hit, Flamethrower, Self-Explanatory, Smite, Launch up into the sky and shoot three lightning bolts at your opponent, Warden Scream, use the Warden Sonic Shriek, and Black Hole, Self-Explanatory, each intended as ultimates, with long cooldowns and high damage outputs, best used for when you're looking to prepare a deadly strike onto your opponent. Chest plates have Concussion, lunge forward and deal a devastating uppercut, applying slow falling for a short time, parry, self-explanatory, flare, charge up a huge explosion after a short windup, warden spine, trade your vision for some damage, and siphon, trade your armor durability for some health, meant either as self-augmentation or just another damage dealing tool. Leggings have Judgment, Lunge Forward, Exploding Upon Impact with an Enemy, Train Dash, Dash Forward Uncontrollably, Exploding with Every Enemy You Hit, Incapacitate, Stop the Movement of All Enemies Near You, Crush, Get Sent Straight to the Ground and Explode Upon Impact, and Acrobatic, Get a Boost Forward and a Damage Bonus until you hit the ground, all pertaining to offensive movement of some nature. Boots will have Comet Strike, Summon a Comet from the Ground that Explodes Upon Being Hit, Momentum, gain more speed the longer you sprint. Sky Charge, gain a higher jump the longer you charge. Stone Collar, summon a four block tall stone pillar underneath you. And Double Jump, self-explanatory. All being movement besides Comet Strike as a trade-off for a bit of extra damage potential. Weapons have eight enchants being Tempo Theft, Steel Speed, Blitz, Attack Faster, Phantom Pain, deal temporary damage, Skewering, deal more damage to airborne enemies, Kinetic, Market Gardener, Breakthrough, Break Shields, cause axes don't do that anymore, Counterweighted, Attack Speed, Boost on Miss, and Gust, Vertical knockback. Crossbows will also have rend, turn your arrows into remote detonation devices, scatter, it's a shotgun, and mitosis is a long range shotgun. Bows will have phasing, chance based no clip, good damage, accelerate, short range always, no clip, but bad damage, and whistler, high damage, and arrow slowly follows the direction you look. As well as for tridents, we have extract, pull your enemy towards you, and recoil, push yourself away from where you threw the trident. If you haven't seen the shorts discussing each enchantment, I urge you to watch those now as it gets more in depth than I could possibly have time for here. In a general sense, however, everything is built to be comboed and combined with each other, making whatever build you want to play a culmination of your playstyle and ingenuity on the battlefield. In my testing, there's a huge skill curve and I have a huge server filled with people very eager to see how this server goes, testing out this combat every day. If you want to join it, you can always click the link in the description, and I hope to see you there. There's also tons of factions that would love to recruit you. I'm sure you'll be welcomed with very open arms. Anyway, since I have this server available to me, I decided to organize a small tournament to showcase exactly what my mod can do. So without further ado, enjoy some gameplay footage. Alright. That was go! <laughs>
man. It looks like... It looks like Rady is given a full utilization of all the abilities. Looks like Kor finally used one of his, uh, helmet enchants. Rady keeps whiffing the... <laughs> the what's it called? The Warden Scream. There we go. Victor is Rady. Mega B for, or sorry, Arsenic for the win. Round one. All right, you ready? And go. That's a bit better. All right, ready, set, go. All right, this one determines it all. Rady or arsenic here? Train dash, but then immediately missed the break ball. Person's going crazy with Comet Strike right now. Oh, and the Blizzard Whip, that might be it. Yeah. Yeah, now it's me and Arsenic. The showdown you've all been waiting for. Alright, Arsenic, you ready? Let's do this one. That was a close one. GG. Go! Whoa, shit! <laughs> know who's on whose team at this point. Thank you all for watching the recording that you just saw was just a couple of clips of some more interesting fights from the live stream i did of this tournament and if you are interested in participating in one we will host another so go ahead and join us in the link in the description below 
We also have links to my mods in there. Now, I can't wait to see you there. Um, obviously, if you couldn't tell, that wasn't the only mod in the mix. And it's not meant to be standalone, but let me tell you, this fixes combat. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> come prove me wrong. All right, I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.